You guys have some seriously cool model railroads. Let's take a look at a few of them on Coffee and Trains. Welcome everybody to another edition of Coffee and Trains. Before we begin, I'm drinking Nespresso's Gingerbread Holiday Blend and as always, black with two sugars. Hmm. So it's time for another virtual model railroad show. I've got five more model railroads for you guys to check out. We're gonna start off with Sal Lido. He has what is just a fantastic model railroad. I absolutely love this, the level of detail Bates Motel that makes me laugh. And then look at all of this right here. You can tell just so much work has been put into this model railroad. I love that lighthouse. It looks phenomenal. And I love scenes like this dock scene. I mean, look at the weathering of the cars and all this kind of stuff. It just looks fantastic. I love the little signal bridge right there. I think it's a signal bridge. It might just be a work bridge. Um, and then also, if you'll notice, these are a couple buildings from my Etsy store, Building 4 and Building 5, the row house and the Main Street store right here that he has as a liquor store right here. Love seeing those things out in the wild. Absolutely love this sow. This looks fantastic. Next one is an update from Robert Collins. He's doing a little Z-scale railroad, and I love showing this because it is a compact model railroad, and it's a Z-scale model railroad. Don't need a ton of space to do this, and check this out. He's got some buildings on there now, and he's got a lot more scenery on there, and actually, when you come to the next shot that you're going to see here, you're going to see it with some rolling stock right here as well. Z-scale, obviously, you can't get the level of detail you can get with the larger scales, but this is looking really good, Robert. I really, really like this. Our next one comes across the pond from the UK, Alan Morgan. Check out his railroad. He's got a bit of a mix of stuff here. You can see he's got one of the classics. I think it's the Jupiter. I can't remember correctly which one that is. But also check out this shot of the rail line through the road. I'm doing something similar for a Train Masters TV project. So these can be tricky. Good job on that, Alan. As well as showing his mixed freight right here. And he also has a video that he sent me, and you can check that out right here. And you can see that, and this is one thing I love about seeing um, videos from Europe and England, places like that, is that you have mixed freight right here. You got some European style wagons along with the American rolling stock. Always fun to see that kind of stuff. Thanks so much for sending that in. Next up is Edward Audit. He has some, first of all, some cool photos that he has sent in, like this one with this cab Ford with a cool backdrop on his model railroad. Really love the way that looks. And then he also sent in this one right here, which is a very cool perspective. Gives that depth, gives that really that look of realism, that eye level that you see right there. Really, really looks good. But the coolest thing he sent in was a video of his model railroad. And you cannot tell me that this does not look like a ton of fun to run. You can't tell me you wouldn't walk into that room and be like, okay, I need a controller. I'm going to run this till I pass out. This just looks like an absolute blast to run. And I know that Edward has a ton of fun running this. Next up, we have Brian Mills. You may remember that he did some of the T-Track modules that I've shown in the past, as well as that glitter-tastic model railroad that he built for his daughter. Let's check out some other stuff that he's done. First of all, he sent me this photo of this T-Track module that he's working on, and it is it has the in-scale chemical plant from my Etsy store. I promise restocks are coming soon, by the way. I'm just trying to get all of my orders out right now before I start taking in any new ones. And the next thing here that I'm gonna show you is it's just really cool so look at this little thing this has to be the smallest model railroad i think i've seen and it's just a little tiny train running around a little tiny christmas tree i love it it's adorable but the next really cool thing that he says another tiny one check out this little guy that's running on a large g scale car right there so it's a railroad running on a railroad and i've never seen it from this big of a scale disparity uh, I've seen in scale running on HO scale where they made it look like a fair ride or something like that, but I've never seen it like this. So this is very, very cool, Brian. Thank you so much for sending this in. 
I love seeing and showing off you guys model railroads because it gives inspiration for so many others. A lot of times we only see one type of model railroad or another. It's nice to see what everybody is doing in the community. So if you would like to submit your model railroad for the virtual model railroad show, you can at the email in the description. If you have and still haven't seen yours featured, please email me again. I get a lot and sometimes they get lost in the shuffle in my email inbox. So please send me again if you haven't seen yours yet and let's go ahead and talk about some of the coffees you guys are drinking ken ray says that he is drinking chuck full of nuts white with no sugar that sounds quite good i can always do um a coffee with whitener in it thomas decker says that michigan michiganians um also have a thing for Tim's, Tim's Hortons. And he says that his future son-in-law is addicted to double doubles. I'm gonna have to go find me a Tim Hortons and figure out where the closest one is and drive to it. And uh, last but not least, Phoebe Stratton says that she is drinking no coffee this afternoon, but is drinking mint tea. So if go ahead and tell me what coffees you guys are drinking in the comments below. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to link some other videos at the end of this video to check out if you're interested in starting a model railroad, if you want to check out more of these virtual model railroad shows and check out coffee and trains. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.